Hi, I'm Dorothy Welsh, the Bucks County Medium, and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing a reading for the week of January 12th, 2020. been some contemplation so far lots of contemplation sometimes not even making a move because there's so much contemplation of what you should be doing and here there's obviously balancing you're trying to keep the balance but at the same time things have been a little bit rocky so lots of contemplation with the rockiness lots of contemplation about what you want for this week the page of cups comes up as in it's an emotional matter so it looks like we're talking about something personal here something personal in your life Wanting it to be filled with happiness, filled with love and happiness, and so far haven't gotten exactly where you want with this relationship. But it doesn't mean things aren't going to change. Because even though you were hurt in the past, there seems to be a lot of difficulties, desires that were not met, things in the past that you really wanted. It seems like something may be coming up in the future to be better. The chariot brings you choices, lots of choices to come. Could it be someone in the medical field? Could it be something that you're not really sure of? Is it someone of the opposite of you? It looks like the challenges come, but when the chariot comes in, it means it's also going to be a courageous time for you, a challenging time for you, but this is also a card of success where you finally get the man of your dreams, the woman of your dreams. You finally get the person of your dreams in your lifetime. You really want this to happen. Oh, again, happiness is coming. Even though we've had this, again, in the past, you know, this difficult relationships in the past, there's something better coming. There's happiness. Not only is it surrounding you now already, but it's coming up in your future. You are stronger than you give yourself credit for. Sometimes you really just lose your confidence in, in a relationship. You're not really sure what they want, what you want. Don't worry about what the other person wants. Really focus on what makes you happiest. Because when you are true to yourself and true to who you really are, the other person can decide whether they love you or like you or don't love you or like you. But if you're trying to become something that you're really not just because you're trying to figure out what's great for them or what's right for them, you're never going to find your true purpose and your true happiness in a relationship. So just be you. Speak your truth in a kind and loving way, but always be true to who you really, really are. This man is really coming for you. It feels like there's someone around you close, actually. You're nervous about what you've had and what you've built up. So it seems like over the years, we've had lots of difficult relationships and you've finally gotten to the point of finding your confidence and getting to the point where you have a routine to your life. You know what you really want. You know what's going on and you don't want to change that. And with someone new coming into your life, you're actually afraid you're going to lose a piece of yourself. This is saying you're not. This is saying you're still going to become you. You're still going to be you. As I said, the truth, it will set you free. Just be, say it in a kind and loving way. That's all. All your hard work will be paying off in this knight in shining armor as you see him coming. The knight in shining armor here as he comes up with the cups means it's something related to relationships. It has to do with your emotions. Some kind of really emotional relationship is coming out. And even though you don't know how it's going to turn out because you get a little nervous about it, it's still saying you're going to do it anyway. You're going to try for it anyway. You're going to just see how it goes. And well, it, isn't life worth risking and love worth risking that to see if it's really true or not? So give it a go, give it a world and see what happens. And if it doesn't really fit you or suit you and you don't really feel right with it all, you can always change your mind. That's the great thing about life is you're never stuck. You can always change your mind and say, this isn't really working out. So when you're thinking about taking that risk with somebody who actually might be your real knight in shining armor, just give it a, give it a chance. Go slow with it. I'm not saying rush into a relationship, but give it a chance because right now you're really not sure what you really want. And of all the things that you've gotten and you really know that you don't want to lose what you have here, part of you is like, I don't know what's to come. And you get nervous and you get worried and you start, you know, filling, filling your head with thoughts of, is this going to be successful? Is it going to be, is it not going to be successful? Will I be happy? Will I not be happy? All of these questions seem to come up in your mind. But the thing, the fact of the matter is, if you go for it, that's the only way you're going to find out. This is saying true happiness will really come and it'll happen pretty quickly. Again, not, know, not wanting to lose what you've had. And this is saying also that it's going to happen very quickly. You're kind of getting focused on everything, all of the things that you really wanted. And it's coming to a head. It's coming to a point. It's coming to the point that you're, you're going to know whether you like this person or not like this person. 
the one thing that I always, I always ask is, and I always say to everyone is ask your angels, please ask your angels, help the other person to show their true color so that I know I'm not really wasting my time. When the angels work on this and this person really shows their true colors in one way or another, then you can know whether you really love them or not. And you really want to love them and you really want to invest your time and your energy in them. Great things are to come as the Ace of Wands come. It's new beginnings. Look at all the new growth, new beginnings coming up. So this is really wonderful because all of the cards are pointing to a, re a really difficult past, but a great relationship which is coming. You may already be in the re this relationship, but it hasn't really gone to the next level. You're just sort of taking things slow. You're just sort of, you know, biding your time and seeing how they really are. You're getting to know each other as friends, and that's a really nice thing. There's nothing wrong with being friends first. In fact, that's exactly what you should be. That's exactly what you should be in the beginning, is you should be really be friends. But again, notice, knights, knights, knights of shining armor coming in to save the day. This one has all of these all of these lizards on it, the lizards who are eating their tail, which means it's a circle of life, a circle of life, which means this person could actually complete me and actually make me feel like this is really where I want to be. Notice the wands here. Again, new growth is coming. New part of this relationship is coming. It almost feels to me like as we're looking at this card, it almost feels to me like it's coming in this spring. So there's no really need to rush this relationship to the next level. By springtime, it's going to happen all on its own. And again, you're really going to know whether you really want to be here or not, whether you really want this relationship or not. So again, bide your time, wait for the spring, get to know this person a little bit more, ask them questions, do fun things together. You don't really need to, again, take it to the next level until you know for sure that this is what you really, really want. Having the world, this is exactly what you want. I want it all. I want everything in my life to be happy. You know, you can start looking at all of the different things, your career, your finances. You can look at your life, your love life, your family, your home, you know, where you live, what your car is like, all of the things in your life. I want to finally be happy. I'm starting to look at all of the things I really want. And the great thing is having the world card here means it's to come. It's actually coming. So with the Knight of Swords, the, I'm sorry, the King of Swords coming in as well as the Knights, as you see, turn into the King, is this King is much more stable than the Knights are. He's much more stable of a person. He's somebody that you can really count on and reflect with. He's someone who can be trusted, who's, who's going to be a little more dedicated to you in the long run. So bringing out his good qualities is something that you're going to see in the next couple of months. And this isn't just about a man, but if you're a man looking at a woman, bringing out her good qualities so that you could finally see her, her strong, nurturing nature as well. And does this really jive with yours? So again, this is getting to know somebody in a good way. The Page of Wands. Again, notice the wands, wands, wands. All new things are coming up. New growth to this relationship. New things are coming. It's something that you've been waiting for and something you've been searching for for the longest, longest time. Not only are the, the newness of the wands coming up, if you notice here the fire on his, on his boots, which means, and again, you see the lizards here eating their tails. This is something that's a long-term relationship. Notice the fire and the fire here. There is fiery passion here growing into something really that could be a lifelong commitment, which could be something really, really good. So again, this relationship looks like it's turning into something really wonderful. We have here the Page of Pentacles coming up next. Both of these cards point to someone who is searching for something. I'm searching for something new. I'm searching for a relationship. I'm seeking out my highest fulfillment and my highest happiness. So all of the cards together are showing that a relationship is here. A relationship is coming. It is growing. It's going to be really, really good. Again, getting to know the person is a wonderful thing. So we're going to ask the angel cards to help clarify what's coming up. The crown chakra comes up. So what this card is letting you know is the angels are telling you that pay attention to your ideas, pay attention to your thoughts. The angels are giving you specifics as to what you should do next. So if you're feeling a little intuitive about something or you're feeling a little bit weird about something, please talk to the person. It's all about communication. If you're feeling weird and you finally get it out in the open, it's because the angels are prompting you to do so. So if you're feeling, again, a little off key, please discuss it. If you're not feeling off key, you're feeling like this is really a great relationship, again, your angels and guides will speak to you. Pay attention to your higher consciousness, pay attention to the ideas that are coming across in your mind. 
Sometimes messages will come in the form of billboards, license plates, songs on the radio. Pay attention to everything that's coming through. Sometimes you may even have dreams. Dreams are so important because they give us answers to what's going on in our life, in reality. Amazing. We really are talking about a relationship. The twin flame is not necessarily a love relationship. However, in this reading, I believe it does connotate to a love relationship. Having a twin flame is someone who has come into this world to help you through it, to help you, you know, balance your life. The answers you seek is in a relationship right now. So there's something coming with a wonderful relationship. So this week of January 12th looks like it's really talking about your love life, which is amazing. So again, we're asking for more clarity. You have so much inner power. This is so amazing. Per a person with inner power can manifest exactly what they want by putting their thoughts and their energy into exactly what they're looking for. Again, looking for the world, wanting it all, not knowing, but wanting it all. All of these things are pointing to the fact that if you visualize your complete success and complete happiness, you visualize yourself with this person, you visualize yourself living with them, having a wonderful life, you can visualize happiness here, then happiness will come because your inner power will push the energies towards success and happiness and this love relationship can grow. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up, it's amazing. The romantic partner, the twin flame, your angels have spoken. There's a real romantic relationship that's gonna get a lot more serious in the next couple months. Again, by spring, by spring it's going to happen. But right now we're looking at, am I supposed to be doing this? What do I really want in a relationship? I know I really want happiness, I'm not really sure. Questions, 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 questions that keep coming up. And all the cards are pointing to the relationship is here. You just need to discuss more things with each other so that you can clarify exactly what you're both looking for. So I'm asking again for more clarity in this relationship reading. The Three of Cups, celebrations and happiness. There will be a reason to celebrate this relationship. Sometimes it could be somebody's birthday. It could be an anniversary that's coming up. It could also mean I know we're coming up to February, which is um, you know Valentine's Day. But this means that there's some things to celebrate in this relationship. So look at the good in the relationship. Look at the good feelings that you've had since you've been in this relationship. The more positive things you can look at with this relationship, the more positive energies you put into this. The next card is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is someone who is seeking the answers, who is looking for and notice the cup again. The cups again are all about the emotions. I'm a nervous kind of person. I'm getting tight in this relationship. I'm getting in here. I don't know if I can get out. I don't know if I want to get out. I don't know if I want to invest all of my energies in this. Am I going to be hurt? So again, we go with the question, question, question. And what comes up is, ah, oh, this is amazing. So death, death card. Some people get really nervous about the death card because they think it's the end of something. This also means it's the beginning of something completely different which means that this person that you're dating now is completely different than anybody you've ever dated before. You're not used to it. You're not really sure what to do with this. Maybe that's why all these questions are coming up. Get rid of the old and bring in the new. The death is getting rid of the old and bringing in the new. So as we're saying, relationship relationships are coming. The death of the old and the bringing in of something new is this powerful horse here, this powerful knight on this white horse brings in amazing new energy for you. The old will be gone, which means all of your emotions that are tied to some nasty relationship, a negative relationship from the past, will start to go away as you see this person is really like, got your back. This person, no matter what you're going through, will say that they're on your side no matter what. And that's a wonderful relationship. The next card is the High Priest. The High Priest is someone who is here to help. When you need someone to help you, all you need to do is ask somebody for help. But the high priest himself or the high priestess has the power, knows the answers. They can reach their higher potential by talking to their angels, guides, and loved ones. As I said, on the other side, we're talking about angels, guides, and loved ones on the other side. Your angels, guides, and loved ones cannot help you in this world. From the moment you're born to the moment you pass, you get to do what you want. But when you need assistance in finding love, joy, and happiness, please ask your angels, guides, and loved ones. You want to give them permission to intervene in your life. All of a sudden, things will happen the way you really want it. The high priest has this power. He has this, notice how he's pointing up. Notice how the staff points up. He has all of the keys. He has the answers to everything 
once he learns to meditate, sitting and meditating on exactly what's going on in this relationship, if you really start writing things down, and you write things down about what's been going on in the relationship, and I know sometimes, you know, day-to-day -day events happen, and you can get angry, and then you can get sad, and then you can get happy again, but if you look at everything, you've actually been happier since you've been in this relationship. That is a telltale sign of a really good relationship. So again, ask your angels and guides, pay attention to the crown shire, sh chakra, pay attention to your highest, pay attention to your highest, um, your guides, pay attention to your higher consciousness. Um, all right, let's do these last two cards here. Life experience is the next card, which is amazing because it says, let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. As I said, out with the old, in with the new. This card is reiterating and confirming out with the old, in with the new. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event, this celebration, an important life-changing event or a situation will lead to significant opportunities. Significant opportunities. You will see what you really, really want in this relationship and they will show their true colors when you're doing some kind of celebratory event. So either you're out together with some people and all of a sudden they show their true colors and you just fall in love with them all over again and say, I'm really glad they're by my side. I'm really glad I'm with this person. And the last card to confirm all of this is the Six of Spring. The Six of Spring. Wonderful news that's on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. Wonderful news being on the way, as I said. Romantic partner, twin flame, out with the old, in with the new. Out with the old, in with the new. Out with the old belief systems, which means, again, everything that you've dealt with in your past from all the old relationships might have you feeling a little bit paranoid with some of the things that are going on but you're going to see the true color shining through you're going to see some wonderful news is coming on its way where you are now going to know for sure without the shadow of a doubt that this person is a good person and this person is good for you thank you again for watching i'm dorothy welsh the bucks county medium thank you for visiting my channel the bucks county medium if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to my channel below for more upcoming readings. And remember, every time you hit the bell, an angel gets their wings.